Managing life can be a real struggle. You've got work, you've got personal, you've got relationships, education, development stuff. It's really easy to start something, but it can be hard to see it through to the end. In this video, I am gonna share with you my technique and approaches, including a tool set that I use that's absolutely free, that allows me to manage my activities and tasks and see them through to completion consistently. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to Simply Cyber, the YouTube channel designed to help you make and take a cybersecurity career further, faster. Now, a couple weeks ago, I was on Neil Bridges' Cyber and Security uh, podcast live stream, and one of the questions came up was, you know, how, how do you manage yourself? Like, how do you get things done? So just so you guys know, I have a family, I have a, a wife, I have a full-time job, I teach at a university, I have a side business, and I do this YouTube channel. I went through a PhD program while I worked full time. Uh, I, I've done, you know, a bunch of stuff all at the same time, and it can be really, really almost overwhelming to think how how do you stay on track? How do you meet your deadlines? How do you get things done? So I've had different systems uh, throughout my life, and I've really started to settle in in the last maybe year on this particular system that I'm going to share with you today. The system's free. Now it's based on the, um, I forget the individual's name, but there's like this famous GTD or getting things done kind of system that has been made famous. The, the author of the books, the guy who developed it, and it's, you know, one of those like a billion copies sold kind of thing. Now I don't fully adopt his entire methodology because that doesn't work for me, but uh, I have taken pieces of it that I like and I'm going to show it to you. So let's get into it. This is called Notion, and I'm going to explain this to you in a little bit, but this is my getting things done board. Anything new gets dropped in right here, and I'll later categorize it as best I can. Uh, things that are due now, they pop right up here based on the due date, and you can see I've got some items here. I've got to develop a statement of work for my small business for a potential client. I've got to return, uh, respond to this email. Um, I'm making this video right now and I have to do some work for the Citadel where I teach, okay? And you can see the due dates here, right? Uh, I'm filming this on 4th of July, and these are due today, so I will get them done today. Again, staying on task, right? Some things coming up due soon. Uh, I got upcoming projects, um, you know, and th now they're broken out by like my personal life, my, my work, um, my YouTube channel, teaching at the Citadel, and kind of miscellaneous stuff, and then obviously completed. Also, I've got a, a calendar down here so I can make sure I don't overload a certain day of the week or um, I know when my time is. Okay, so this is kind of the landing page. I'm going to come back to this and dig in, but just know this is like what you're going to end up with, and I'll explain why it works in a minute, okay? So check it out. This is called Notion, and Notion is free although you can pay for it to get some extra bells and whistles, but I've been using the free version and it works excellent. Now, what's very cool about Notion is it is a, it's like a productivity tool that doesn't really have anything to it, you build into it. Now, there's a lot of videos and I'll link to a couple. So Network Truck had one on how he uses Notion for studying for exams and stuff. Um, Karma Medic, on YouTube actually has a video that I watched that inspired me to get do the getting things done uh, piece and I'll link to that as well. And Kat Mulvain uh, also has like a three or four part series on how to use Notion effectively. But w once we get into it, you'll see actually like why it's so powerful and stuff. I downloaded the local desktop app, but you can also use the web um, interface as well. Our brains are made for coming up with ideas, not storing ideas, right? So that's one kind of reality that you gotta accept. Now, based on the fact that our ideas are, or our brains are made for creating ideas, not storing ideas, you need a way to get ideas out of your head and down quickly. Now, maybe you have a notepad uh, and you write it down, or hey, hey, like I, I gotta, I can't forget this, like you write it down. The problem with that method is that you write it down on like a cocktail napkin or a note, sticky note or back of a receipt or something like that, which is fine, but you can lose those. If you've ever lost something or if you've ever said like, oh, geez, what was I trying to do the other day? I, I can't remember what I, I said I would do uh, or what I would send such and such. This is the power of this. Now, I want to show you something pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. This is my mobile, right? I have this Notion, here it is, I have this Notion landing page, so check this out. If I have an idea, so I need, I wanna get my wife 
a gift, right? So I don't want to forget that because I'm filming a video right now. So I just launched the little app and check this out. All right, so you can see get wifey anniversary gift pop right up there. If I'm in the conversation with someone at a cocktail hour or something like that, and I say, hey, you know what? I've worked with such and such. I'll send you their email address. I can just take a quick note while I'm talking to that person, send Bob email address of Tom, right? Boom, I don't, I don't remove myself from the conversation. I'm not rude. I don't forget about it. And it comes back in here. Okay, so now check this out. Once these ideas are in here, and this is part of the getting things done system. Whenever you're capturing something, make it start with a verb. What is the action? The action in this one is I need to get my wife an anniversary gift. Okay. Now for context, now this is, these come from a database, right? And I'll, I'll, we'll create one in a second because I actually have a process improvement I want to use. But this one I can do from my phone because I can, you know, go on Amazon or whatever on my phone or the computer. And uh, I'm going to say it's low energy because high energy is more like, recording this video or something like that. This, what kind of, what kind of bucket does this go under? It goes under my life admin. When do I want to do it by? Well, my anniversary is the 24th. So I definitely want to get it way before then. So uh, I'll, I'll do it by the 7th. Okay. That's, it, it shouldn't take me that long to, I know what I want to do anyways. Okay. Then I got these other flags ASAP. Like, is this an urgent thing, which will make it pop up right here in the do now bucket. Um, and then captured means that you have contextualized whatever it was you put. Remember, you just, you put down something while you were at a cocktail hour. You put down something while you were sitting at a stoplight and an idea popped in your head, right? You didn't contextualize it at that time. You had just got the idea out of your head and on paper. This is the activity of clarifying and contextualizing what it is that you need to do. Now, one thing as a process improvement I'm going to do live right now, which is pretty cool because it's actually going to show you some more of the power of this tool is, you know, I've got this um, low energy, high energy thing. But what I really want or find myself wanting is how long is it going to take me predictably, right? Because now I'm starting to reach the point in my life where like I can say, listen, on Mondays I can dedicate one hour to getting things done. You know, like obviously my job is my job. I do my job, but like I got one hour on Mondays. I got one hour on Tuesdays. I'm going to do nothing on Wednesdays. It's like uh, my day, uh, spend it with my, <clears throat> my wife doing like a date night or something like that. Uh, and on Saturday, I'm going to give six hours, right? So by adding how much time I think the task is going to take me, I can then say like, well, if it's going to take me six, if, I, if, if I'm going to do six hours worth of work on Saturday, that means that I can do like these three videos, which each are going to take me an hour. And then I've got, you know, three extra hours to do whatever I want if, if I want to do something. Okay, so let's add that element. So I'm going to add, these are the properties of the task table. I'm going to add a property right here. And the type is going to be, see all these different, oh wait, my head's in the way. Hold on one second. We're going to change it from a text property type to a, um, a select, well, a multi, well, a select, because you really, if you think it takes 30 minutes and it's not going to take two hours, right? So let's choose select. Now this is pretty cool. We're going to turn it on and we're going to move it up to here. And just like that, we just added this whole, um, this whole record or this whole element right here. Now check it out. Now we didn't add anything, so there's no options to select from, but we can do this 30 minutes. Boom. We can say one hour, and I probably won't do a task that's more than four hours long, okay? So now check this out. Now I've got this time investment, which is awesome. So now I can tell, and now that I've captured it, I'm gonna select captured, and it disappears. Clearing my, I call it landing zone, but it's your inbox or whatever, like whatever. Now you can see, like let's run through and look at like kind of what my life looks right right now, right? Uh, I've got to make this video on getting things done. I'm actually going to show you, I'm going to check it as done just because like I'm in the middle of making it. It's definitely going to be done. So when I check it, it disappears from my list and that feels good. So I'm going to continue knocking out these things after I make this video today. If you're going to use this getting things done system, I'm curious, put it in the comments. Have you used this getting things done system? Maybe not notion, but getting things done in general, that, that approach. And did it work for you? Did you have any shortcomings? Um, you know, I, I, like I said, there's elements of getting things done that I'm not adopting, but this system works for me. Okay. So do soon, right? This is coming up next week. Um, 
Okay, so actually implement labs for summer. Uh, I already did all that work, so I'm gonna mark that done. Again, here, here's the thing. So now we've got a tool that allows us to organize and like quickly drop ideas that we have and organize them in a good way so we can execute on them, right? They start with verbs. Now, that that's fine, but now here comes another kind of like pro tip or whatever, what I do. So at least... Uh, at least once a day, I come in here in Notion and look at these things, right? So, you know, if something's due now or due today, I, you know, I'll, I'll fit it into my schedule to work it. Um, but you can look at due soon. Um, you know, I actually just added this, uh, this element of time investment. So I'm going to, I'm going to add it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to add it here to the, the row and now it goes a little further than I wanted it to, but um, but that's okay. I'll clean that up later. But now I can start adding this element. So how long will a call a call with Linda uh, would be thirty minutes? Um, in fact, I already called her. Uh, we have to schedule something else. Actually, so that's a good point, right? So um, touch base with Linda on Shadow. Okay. Again, uh, I'm not even gonna contextualize this right now because I'm in the middle of doing some other work, the making the getting things done video, but you, you see how quickly, like that was something I need to do, so I, I put it, and next time I come back to actually kind of contextualize and get my stuff together, I will spend a minute uh, fixing this thing, right? Um, you can see I've got upcoming stuff, which is basically based on the due date. Um, I've got, you know, basically I got to do this for my wife, move this guest bedroom mirror. Uh, I have a kegerator that's busted and I need to either get rid of it or fix it. And you can see, you know, this is for my private business. Uh, I've got to do these two pieces of work today for that. Uh, make some videos for YouTube, my Citadel stuff, and that's it. And then I've got these completed things. Now at the bottom, I recently added this, is just a calendar so you can see exactly what what all is you know you got planned so you can see like your week in general okay so i mean this it's not really rocket science but this is this is the method i have a quick way to drop ideas in here i contextualize them and then you know i, I make sure that i don't overwhelm myself like space things out in a way that is achievable but the important part is it allows me to keep my mind clear so I can think about whatever it is in the moment now. I know that I'm not forgetting something um, and I can give myself a nice, you know, balanced workload so I can spend time with my kids. I can spend time with my wife. I can think about other ideas. Okay, here's another tip, all right? So if you're, say you're working towards a certification, right? You're gonna get security plus. Like, don't, I would, I would caution you sit, to put a, a test that says get security plus. Okay, because that's not really a task you knock out, right? You don't just, it's not like go buy a garden hose. Get Security Plus, there's like, there's studying, there's scheduling the exam, there is taking the exam. I, I would strongly encourage you to even maybe create a project called Security Plus Study, right? If you wanted to go that route, um, and then start having tasks or do something like this where it's, um, right, and then Get Security Plus. You can do it this way too. Uh, study domain one, right? So actionable items, schedule exam, study domain one, at least you can break it into like some axiomatic task that is a reasonable task to get completed. I'm telling you, once you start knocking things out, it's gonna feel really satisfying and you're gonna wanna add more stuff to knock more things out, okay? So just be cautious about putting kind of unrealistic things. and. Again, when you are going through this, you know, every day, every other day, whatever, and you're contextualizing it and you're reflecting on it, if you have Get Security Plus, like you should, you should be able to ask yourself, like, can I just do that task, right? Touch base with Linda. Yes, I can do that. That is an email or phone call. I can do that. That is an actionable task. Get Security Plus, that is a goal. But Get Security Plus isn't actionable. Scheduling an exam, that's actionable. So if you find that your things are not actionable, you need to revisit them. Fix or get rid of kegerator. This one, you know, this one's actually probably a pretty good one. Like, I need to call a plumber. That's what I really need to do. That, like, <laughs> that's the next step for me on that item. It, 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 so like, fix or get rid of is, is a terrible kind of item, right? They're both verbs, but 
there's two different actions there. And what is fix kegerator? I don't have the skills to do that. I need to call a plumber, right? So this is the real action, okay? I hope this works for you. Uh, give it a shot. I've been using it for a little while and I really like it. Uh, you can check out the videos in the links below to other YouTubers who have done uh, content on Notion uh, to understand a little bit more of like the entire tool suite and how you can use it. This is just one way to use it, obviously. Uh, I do think that I can like export a template of my form, uh, like of, of my getting things done format. If I can, I will do that and make it available to you guys if, if someone asks for it, um, right? So that's kind of the thing. Like I'll put it on my action item list figure out how to export and share template with YouTube audience if YouTube audience actually asks for it. So if you found value, hit the thumbs up. It helps other people find this. Obviously, we do videos every week, so hit subscribe if you want to be made aware. Uh, we've got this six-part series coming up with Stefan Semmelroth on the entire life cycle of getting a job in cybersecurity. So we're going from resume to finding a job to interviews to um, negotiating your salary to crushing it in your first 90 days. So that's going to be a big whole series of playlist. I'm super excited. We've already filmed the first two uh, pieces of that project. So thanks so much. Uh, I hope you can implement this system and get some things done too. Until next time, stay secure.